it is likely South Carolinians will pay less in state income tax next year. The state House and Senate will consider two tax cut proposals. Our Jason Raven breaks down both plans. Well, last week, South Carolina's Board of Economic Advisors once again increased their revenue estimates for this upcoming fiscal year. Now, this means lawmakers will have additional surplus money to work with in the upcoming budget. And some lawmakers want to use this extra money for tax cuts. Well, House Republicans joined the governor to announce they were working toward a bigger income tax cut than proposed before. They're looking at using $600 million to cut income taxes for most South Carolinians next year. A tax cut has the impact, Mr. Simmel, of a pay rate. And more money in the pockets of our people to spend is a catalyst for even more economic growth in South Carolina. The proposal would cut the highest income tax bracket from 7% to 6.5% right away and eventually go down to 6%. In South Carolina's effective tax rate, what people actually pay in taxes after deductions and exemptions is lower than neighboring states Georgia and North Carolina, despite having the highest tax rate out of the three states. South Carolina is going to have one of the lowest effective tax rates in the state. Right now we're at 3.1% which is a tenth lowest in the nation. Now, late last week, Senate Finance Chairman Harvey Peeler introduced his bill. It would decrease the highest tax rate from 7% to 5.7% immediately. And in total, Chairman Peeler's tax cuts would cost about $2 billion. And Peeler's plan has support from some Senate Democrats as well. It would reduce manufacturing property taxes by 33%, putting us in line with other states in the southeast. Also, we're giving an additional one billion dollars back to working South Carolinians through a one-time tax rebate. Now, both plans would eliminate taxes for military retirement income. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News.